Hello everyone, welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching World of Sensors. This is one of a unique and one of a kind series for those of you absolute beginners who do not have any idea about the sensors, how to plug it with, to, with Arduino and stuff like that. So we have been using, uh, you know, the expansion board, sensor expansion board, which is pretty easy to use and connect the sensors and, you know, start writing some C, C++ code to, you know, make it work. So anyways, in this lesson, we will move on to a sensor called light sensor. All right. So what it does. So basically light sensor integrates a photoresistor that is light dependent resistor, right? It's also called as a LDR which basically detect the intensity of the light. The resistance of photoresistor decreases when the intensity of the light increases, right? It's a dual op amp chip LM358 on board within the sensor. If you look at the module within the sensor, there is a chip, right? Which basically produces the voltage corresponding to intensity of the light. It's the same way how the LDR works, right? In case you want, if you want to know more about LDR, go back to my Arduino Mega series. I have built a couple of exercises using LDR. So you may take a look at it, right? So the output signal is basically the analog value and the brighter the light is, the larger the value is, right? So this module, basically this particular sensor module can be used to build a light controlled switch or a light controlled robotic application, which can switch off the bot or the lights during daytime and switch on the lights during the night time, you know, all those things is possible. So go ahead and pick up the light sensor module from your kit and connect it to A0 port of our shield, right? The sensor port shield and then take the LED bar. There's a LED bar which comes with multiple segments of LED to the D2 of the grow of, of the particular shield. So let's see how it looks and uh, what you need to do once you are connected as per the picture I'm showing you uh, above me. I will also show you right now, uh, you know, how to plug it and connect it and kind of thing once we load the program. So let's go ahead and grab the code from my GitHub. All right. So if you go to GitHub, you need to go to lesson 10 light sensor, right? If you click in here, this particular code also requires a library called grow underscore LED underscore bar dot H. It's a library written by the grow, uh, uh, Seed Studio Grow who manufacture uh, these sensor modules. So that library is basically there in my GitHub itself. If you go to the other section that is Arduino sensor libraries within my GitHub account, you can go to this particular section and you can find that libraries here, Grow LED Bar Master Zip. So you can download this and put it inside the folder where you install your Arduino IDE that is Typically, it should be in C drive or D drive, whichever the drive you install. Go to that folder, double click, you will find a library, a folder called libraries. Inside that libraries, you can put this particular zip. So your library accepts. Now go ahead and let's go to raw and then control A, copy, open the IDE and then control V. Right. So once you're there, you go. So as soon as you put it, your library accepts because I have already installed this library within my zip folder inside the library folder of Arduino path. So you need to put it there itself. So once you are done with this, copy paste and go to tools, Arduino UNO, go to board, Arduino AVR boards, select Arduino Uno and then go to tools again, go to port, my port is column six. Yours might be different, right? So go ahead and upload. Once you upload this code, right? And it's pretty, you know, just about 20 lines of code, guys. It's pretty easy to understand. I don't see any reason why I should be explaining. But in case if you need any explanation, I'll be happy to assist you. Do reach out to me. So let's go ahead and load it. I have already loaded it. Now let me show the circuit. All right, there you go. So if you can see it here, right? So can you see the multiple colors? This is the light sensor. And as the light intensity grows, this is the sensor. This is how the sensor looks like, right? 
so currently the room which i am setting my lab is a little bit darker and not much of light so obviously you know you you should be able to do some detection there you go so i can see the intensity goes down and goes up if i bring it to dark see all the bars starting from red to green i hope you guys can see it right and it will reduce suddenly it will reduce when the ldr is on the bright side so i need to take it near the sunlight or maybe uh, uh, artificial light or something so anyways so this is for you to you know understand how the how the bar graph led works and how the ldr works so it's pretty straight forward and easy to understand all right guys so this was a pretty short lesson so i hope you understood if you want to make some interesting project with ldr and led graphs do reach out to me i can give you some ideas or if you have some ideas reach out to me we can work it out together goodbye